What's good guys, so the organization just this morning dropped spoilers for a new structure deck that's gonna drop in the OCG and this is after Cyberstyle. So in the TCG we get Cyberstyle in about three months. So after that one we're gonna get Structure Deck or Lost Sanctuary. I don't know why they're calling it Structure Deck or maybe it's just like uh, it's because it's an older Structure Deck and they're like revising it or something like that. But let's get on with the new cards. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. All my first opin uh, opinions and impressions on it. I barely got a chance to read any of these cards. But let's get right into it. So a new Synchro Monster. So the Lost Sanctuary Archetype, it's a it's actually a field spell, but it was a fairy structure deck as well. So I assume it's going to be the same thing, just better cards. Hyperion is a one of the main deck monsters, and now I guess this is a Synchro version, but let's get right into the effect. So Master Flare Hyperion, Light Fairy Synchro Effect. And I don't believe this archetype ever had a Synchro so this is probably brand new level 10 3200 2600 defense so very beefy let's see what the materials are because that's going to be very important one tuner plus plus one non-tuner fairy monster so it's going to restrict you to uh, playing fairies so i don't know what deck if it's going to be pure or what but that's already a good sign that um it is kind of generic it's not going to require three different monsters or something like that like trishula does you can only use this card's name is first and second effect each once per turn. You can send one agent monster or one monster that specifically lists the sanctuary in the sky in its text from your hand, deck, or extra deck to the graveyard. Until the end phase, this card's name becomes a sent monster's original name and replace this effect with that monster's original effect. So this card kind of reminds me of a dark monster from back in the day. Um, it was called like uh, the, fa the, the little pool, the phantom card. It would send things from your deck to the graveyard. I believe it was a level 4, 2,000 attack or 2,000 defense. And it would copy the effects. So this is cool, reminiscent of that. And I, But like this one can hit your hand, deck, or extra deck to the graveyard. So I think that's really cool. I think the, that first effect right there, there's definitely going to be some cool thing, some cool plays you can do with it. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the, like the agent cards, so I don't know exactly what they do. I know that they're very old cards, so let me know what, like, if there's combos out there already that we can do. And then the second effect, when your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can banish one fairy monster from your hand or graveyard, then target one card on the field, banish it. So, it doesn't negate the effect. I don't know if people are going to think it's going to negate it. It doesn't negate it, but on the activation of a card or effect, you can banish one fairy monster from your hand or graveyard. So I, both, both the first and second effect are very flexible. I like that you could do it from the hand and graveyard and then target one card on the field, banish it. I think uh, targeting removal is good and it fits a banish. It reminds me of Shirog in the current format right now. So I think this card's pretty good. I Let's see how easy it is to actually summon the synchro because you're going to need some beefy monsters on the field it's level 10 but it only requires two so one tuner one non-tuner but it has to be a fairy that's the first synchro monster and i am quite impressed let's see how easy actually it is to summon it the second card the main deck monster the card on the cover majesty hyperion and what's interesting about this is it's dark so i don't know if the agent cards were dark in the past or if they were a mixture of dark and light but um this is definitely cool um Dark Fairy Effect Level 8. So there's your Level 8. So there's probably a Level 2 tuner somewhere in the archetype that I don't know about. Or you, you could just splash it, uh, splash other tuners that you need because a, the tuner can be generic. So let's see how to get this on the field. I'm hoping it just has a special summon effect because if I'm tribute summoning for this in 2021, that's not happening. So you can only special summon by the first procedure of this card's name once per turn. Okay, good sign. You can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard by banishing one the agent monster from your hand, field, or graveyard. I love this, actually, because just like before, it's not just... I'm happy it was more than just the hand. It could be from hand, field, or graveyard. That's so flexible. All of them, I believe, are going to have effects like that then. And that's very nice. It's not just a like a galaxy soldier or something where you have to pitch something out of your hand. It could be something from field or graveyard that always fe feels much better than it always have to be from hand because then it's this card and another card that you require. And I don't know if these cards have graveyard effects, but we'll see. Then, So the special summon effect, just what we needed, level 8. Perfect. Second effect. All battle damage you take from battle involving fairy monsters is also inflicted to your opponent. So that's really cool. Free effect like that. I don't know how relevant it's going to be. I believe Sanctuary in the Sky did something where you don't take damage. So I don't know how if it uh, like conflicts or if there's something I'm missing here. Then third effect. 
Once per turn, you can banish one fairy monster from your hand or graveyard, then target one card in either graveyard, banish it. If the sanctuary in the sky is on the field, their field spell, or in the graveyard, you could activate this effect up to twice per turn. So solid. I think this is really good. I would love that Sanctuary in the Sky didn't have to be on the field. That's very different. Most of the time, these archetypes that revolve around the field spell, the effect is so much weaker when the field spell isn't on the field. But this one has the caveat that it could be on the field or graveyard. I like that. Hitting the graveyard is not the craziest thing right now, but it's really good against Drytron. So I like that for sure. And the fact that you all these effects, their cost can be so flexible because you can banish fairy monsters from your hand or graveyard. I love that. Um, so solid effect. To uh, The special summoning effect is very good. I think this is a solid main deck monster and it looks sick. And then more main deck monsters. So this one's going to be the Agent of Life Neptune. So maybe they just redid the whole entire agent like archetype because I'm pretty sure you can't play any of the old ones. Light Fairy Effect Level 1, 0 Attack, 600 Defense, 1 for 1 target. That's always nice to see. You can only, and it's 0 Attack, so the new card, Piri's Ray Map, can also search it. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn. You can discard this card's special summon 1, eight, the Agent Monster from your hand or graveyard, except the Agent of Life Neptune, but it cannot be attributed until the opponent's turn. If the Sanctuary uh, in the Sky is on the field or in the graveyard, you could special summon one Hyperion monster instead. So it can turbo out the main deck monster if you have um, the field spell, or you can just discard to summon the other agent monsters. It just can't be used as a tribute until the opponent's next, next turn. And I don't know if that matters because I don't think tributing is... I haven't seen anything where it requires tributes. Everything's just banished or just special for free. So I don't know if that actually will matter, but it's solid effect and then the second effect if this card becomes banished you could add one sanctuary in this sky from your deck to your hand so that's actually insane mad synergy with majesty and the synchro monster because these cards are going to banish from graveyard or hand and then you could just add sanctuary in the sky that's very different i like that then the, some of the reprints i guess i we don't have an exact uh, like ocg list for the structure deck yet but these are some of the reprints these are cards that have already been out master hyperion the Agent of Judgment Saturn C. Yeah, I remember this card. These cards are like older Agent cards. I don't know if you'll actually see play because they're probably very outdated. The Agent of Wisdom Mercury. So they're really just giving you all the uh, Agent cards. The Agent of Force Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, and Mystic Shine Balls. So maybe the Mystic Shine Ball will be a part of some combo because I know that there's the Fairy that just summons three of this out of deck. And then the Sanctuary in the Sky cards from the sky i believe this one says like draw two and it has some bad drawback though i remember reading this card way back they the agent of mystery earth so i guess all the planets have an agent card and then the the one that i've seen world chalice played it the agent of creation venus the one that summons the shine balls out of your deck for five and eleven so I, it seems like you're gonna get all the cards from the older structure deck plus the new revamped cards i don't know if these are the only revamped cards but all three of them were actually very solid. Let me know what you guys think about Structure Deck or Lost Sanctuary. Stay tuned for more. And let me know if there's combos that you guys discovered or what can be played with this. Maybe if there's something with Drytrons that you can do with this. But yeah, cool deck. Stay tuned for more. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Peace, boys.